Hello and welcome to the Graco Education Center. In this video, I'll show you how to clean your sprayer using buckets. This is a good method, but if you have access to a garden hose and want an even faster way, check out the video on how to clean your sprayer with Power Flush. Like any tool, keeping your sprayer clean and in good condition is an essential part of ownership. As always, before we start, be sure you've read your manual and are familiar with all warnings and safety procedures. Before cleaning your sprayer, always perform the pressure relief procedure. Engage the gun trigger lock. Power off the sprayer. Turn the pressure control to the lowest setting and reverse the spray tip. Then disengage the gun trigger lock. Hold a metal part of the gun firmly to a grounded metal pail and trigger the gun to relieve pressure. Engage the trigger lock. Turn the prime spray knob to the prime position. When you finish a spray project, there will still be some paint in the hose. So the first step to cleaning is to recover as much paint as we can. Remove the tip guard and spray tip from the gun. Remove the suction tube and drain tube from the paint and wipe any excess paint off the outside of the tube. Place the suction tube into a bucket of water and the drain tube into a waste pail. With a gun pointed into the paint bucket, pull the trigger. Turn the prime spray valve to spray and power on the sprayer. While continuing to hold the trigger, increase the pressure. Do this until you see a paint water mixture appear. Then immediately power off the sprayer and release the gun trigger. Move the gun to the waste pail so we can clean out the hose and gun. Pull the trigger again, power on the sprayer, and turn the pressure control to clean. Continue to hold the trigger until water runs clear. This usually takes around one to two gallons of water. Power off the sprayer, and then release the trigger. At this point, it's a good idea to clear the paint out of the tip. Make sure the trigger lock is engaged. Put the tip and guard back on the gun with a spray tip in the spray position. Disengage the trigger lock and spray for about five or 10 seconds. Engage the trigger lock, reverse the tip, disengage the trigger lock and spray again for five to 10 seconds. Reduce the pressure and turn the power off on the sprayer. Release the trigger and engage the trigger lock. Next, we'll clean out the pump itself. To do this, turn the prime spray valve to prime, power on the sprayer, slowly turn the pressure control up until you see a paint water mixture come out of the drain tube. Allow the water to circulate until the fluid coming out of the drain tube is clear, maybe 30 seconds or so. Then turn the pressure down and power off the sprayer. Then disconnect the power. Remove the filters from both the gun and sprayer. Clean them along with the tip and guard with water using a soft bristle brush. Also inspect all the parts for any damage. It's important after every use that you run some pump armor into the pump of your sprayer to help prevent freezing and corrosion. To do this, remove the inlet filter. Put the suction tube into the bottle of pump armor. Put the drain tube into a waste bucket. Put the sprayer in the prime position and power on the sprayer. Slowly turn the pressure control until you see pump armor flow up the suction tube and out the drain tube. Once this happens, power off the sprayer. To keep the fluid from draining out the drain tube, turn the prime spray valve to spray. Screw the inlet strainer back onto the suction tube. By properly cleaning your sprayer and storing it in a safe, dry place, your Graco sprayer will be ready for your next project. Thanks for visiting the Graco Education Center. We're always here to help.